Wobba bobba boo! Hello guys and welcome back to another review uh, by me, the Doc Eleven. So today I am going to be reviewing the DC Comics um, Unlimited Joker figure from the Injustice Gods Among Us game. Um, I actually picked this up when I was at Bradford Comic Con. I think it cost me £15 and I thought, well, obviously I am going to need a Joker action figure for... Um, my one of my movies, um, the Batman one, to be precise, and so I thought, well, this is a cool joke, and it'll save me borrowing my girlfriend. So yeah. So first of all, let's just run over the packaging. So I'll take you in a bit closer. We can have a closer look at the packaging. And so as you can see, they've got the DC Comics logo up there. It says Unlimited. You got the figure displayed in a nice window thing. You got an image of the Joker. Um, that says ha 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 all around it from the actual game cover. It says there, Injustice Gods Among Us. Um, you can, it's based on the game. It's available in April 2013, but obviously it's already out. And there it says Injustice the Joker. Uh, just some legal guff. Um, obviously, you can see the Joker figure in the side there. On the back, you have some information. Um, well, I'll say you have some information. You've got another picture of the Joker. It says Injustice the Joker. Over here it says these figures feature designs based on the exciting new game from DC Comics from the creators of Mortal Kombat Injustice Gods Among Us. Allows you to control the incredible powers of DC Comics' greatest icons in the battle um, of epic proportions. To learn more, visit www.injustice.com. And then there's also... Um, the, you can get Superman, Injustice Superman, and Injustice Green Lantern. At the bottom here, there's also some information about the Joker. So his real name's unknown. His occupation is professional criminal. His location's Gotham City. His powers, abilities, and skills are homicide maniac. The Joker Venom employs various weapons. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the packaging. So let's open the figure up and take a look at the figure itself. Okay, so now the figure is out of the packaging, let's take a closer look at it. So, the hair is tinted green, um, he does have some really nice detail on his hair. You can just see the kind of green streaks kind of there, of, um, like, well, his hair streaks really. And obviously it is a little bit spiky and I do like the way it's combed back. Obviously he's got the iconic green hair. And then obviously his face is white with the big red smile and the teeth that are visible. Um, I do think the fact that they've included the teeth in this action figure is awesome. Um, I like his eyes because I'm not sure what, I think they're blue or brown. But I do think they represent the game very well. Uh, moving down, he has his um, well-known little pink flower, uh, which I think in one of the one of the comics he uses as a squirty flower, so that's quite cool. Underneath that, he's got kind of like a, a yellow like like top bit of the jacket, so it's not entirely purple, so that's good. Um, he has a purple tie, a green vest, and I think he has a yellow shirt just visible underneath it. Obviously, the green. Coat's really cool. Uh, the green thing's really cool because it actually connects to the purple coat via these little buttons here. I see the waistcoat, the green waistcoat underneath is all closed up. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be all one or if it's like different um, ones, but I'm not sure. Moving down, he has some like little yellow things at the end of his coat on the back. Um, there's some really nice detail of straps and stuff that kind of go around it. Also, I must tell you that the actual coat itself at the back is black, not uh, purple like it is on the front. So I do like that. I think that's really cool. Um, obviously, moving down, he does have his iconic purple coloured uh, pants like from a lot of the films and the, uh, well, a lot of them. Um, moving down, he then has got some really nice little brown boots, which I think, if you look at them close up like there, they're very well done. There is a tiny amount of detail of shoelace, but not that much, and I believe they're brown, so yeah. Uh, obviously, I think there's uh, 
There's a peg hole on both shoes and just a bit of writing there. But other than that, the detail on this figure is awesome. Um, so let's take a look at the art. Okay, so for articulation, he is quite good. So for a start, his head can do the full 360. I wouldn't really recommend it because you could start rubbing his paint off his neck. His head can tilt up and down. His arm can do a 360 degree turn at the shoulder. It can go out and it can also rotate, obviously, as I just said. He has a 90 degree bend at the elbow, but no bicep articulation. His wrist can do a 360 degree turn and it can pivot up and down slightly. Um, he has very limited waist articulation, but I think if you really wanted to, he probably could do the free, full 360. His legs can kick out at a 90, well, 45 degree angle, nearly 90 degree angle. Um, his knees can rotate 360 degrees and obviously bend at a 90 degree angle. And he has an up and down ankle pivot, but it doesn't go side to side that well. Um, and obviously he can rotate it 360 degree at the thigh as well as the knee. Um, so for articulation he's got quite a lot. That's it for articulation. Um, he doesn't come with any accessories. So as I was saying he doesn't come with any accessories at all. He um, is just a standard figure on it. So it would be cool if he came with some kind of like gun or something like that but other than that, I'm really glad that I bought this figure. It was well worth the investment. Um, I've seen this figure going for an expensive amount before. I've seen it going for like 60 quid um, in places. But um, the fact that I bought it unopened in the packaging for £15. And the figure came out in about, what, 2013, 2014? So it's a relatively old figure now. It's not like really old. But it's a relatively old figure. Um, but I'm really glad that I picked this up because it's going to be well worth it and obviously will be the Joker in my Batman film. I was going to use Amber's J. Lee Joker, um, but I think I'm going to use this one now because I think it will look better. Um, I may use the J. Lee one in something else. I don't know if she'd let me, but obviously it'd be entirely down to whether she would let me or not. But other than that, thanks for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed the figure. I definitely recommend picking this up if you can find it online. Um, I will leave a link in the description below for where you could find this figure online, if I can find one. If there's no link there within 24 hours, that's because I genuinely could not find um, this online anywhere. So it's going to be hard to look for. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please leave a big like um, if you enjoyed the video. Comment below what you think of the figure and if you have any recommendations of things I should review. And um, obviously subscribe if you haven't already. So I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye.